You can get this track at Lowe's. It's a big long piece. You can get really long pieces of this. Look at the channel. See, it's like a V. A V channel there. What I'm going to do is bolt one of these on the toolbox, one on the rack. So it'll slide in, you see? Like that. And it'll lock into place so that I can remove the toolbox. Also lock it. See, I only need one padlock to hold it in place so you can't get it out. And then... Uh, You'll be able to slide this out. And this is your toolbox. This frame stays on the rack. And it just so happens the best place to mount the brackets or V braces is right here. Where these little things are. And I can't cut this off because it goes in the box. But that's okay. I'm going to cut these two off with a grinder. And then the end will butt up against this. And I will screw them onto that, the channel. It won't just cut off with a razor blade when it's all one piece. I don't know if I'm heating it up by grinding it or what, but... I have to do both steps to get them cleaned up. The screw is going to go on the inside like this with a washer. That way it'll be smooth. It won't tear up my stuff in there. I'm going to put a little sealer on here just to make it waterproof. I'll just go in here and do it. I'm using these little U-bolts here to secure this track onto this rack. It's perfect. They fit perfect. So now both tracks are installed on the toolbox and on the rack here. And the bolts are too long. I'm going to put Teflon nuts on there and then cut them off. The Teflon locking nuts, that'll help with vibration and theft. I squeeze down these ends on both ends like that. That'll act as a stop when I slide the toolbox in there it'll come to a abrupt halt now let me show you how it works and then I'll show you where I screwed up so here we go just set her on there like this and slide her into place you see there there's my screw up set her on there like that and then slide her into place she's locked in nice and tight with the toolbox locked in the channel I have one hole right here for a padlock that padlock will go through that hole around the rack here and it'll lock it in place. There's no way to get it off. Keep in mind, I know this is just a theft deterrent. It's not a foolproof system. Obviously, if somebody wants my little plastic toolbox or whatever's in it, they're going to get it. Here's an illustration of my screw-up for you folks to better understand. This is the way I did it. Straight. Stupid. So when I go to try and get the toolbox in there, see, i got to try and line it up with these other straight pieces right there. You get me? Had I done a V-shape with a track, and it doesn't have to be this extreme, but check this out. You're falling right into the spot, see? You're forced right into the spot nice and easy. So that's a screw up. It'll still be all right, but I'm sure it'll be a great reminder every time I go to put that toolbox on there how I should have done it, and next time that's the way I'll do it. Lights are kind of hidden underneath my box a little bit. I'm not happy with that, so let's do something about it. I purchased two red trailer lights and two indicator lights, Peter. And uh, I have this. It was in my toolbox. We'll put this all together. You'll see how it works. I'm going to mount these on the box first. Get the wires run to this connector. I'm only doing a brake light 
and turn signals. I'm not too concerned about the tail light deal, the running light, because I'm not going to be driving at night. And we're going to do a little bit more. I'm going to put some re reflective tape and stuff on the box so I can be seen. Because these are trailer lights, and they typically mount to a metal frame and ground to the metal frame. I have to make these little wires here. These are just ground wires and I'm just screwing them when I screw them to the box right there. This wire will have to go to ground because the box is plastic. Because this is a trailer plug, one side the ground, see right here, this the white wire that comes off of it that's normally there would ground onto the trailer. So there's not a slot for it to fit through here. I'm going to drill a hole right here. There's no hole there, so I'm going to drill a hole there and slip a piece from the inside out like that so that we'll have one extra connector because that's what I need for. I now have all the lights installed. This is what it's going to look like. Could have done a neater job here. Maybe could have put the wires on the inside or... There's a lot of different things you can do, but this is the way I wanted to do it. I'm satisfied with it like this. Here is the trailer connector right here that we will unplug, and I'll demonstrate that. Let me first show you how all the lights work when they are working together. All right, key on. Left turn. Left turn with brake. Just brake. Right turn. Right turn with brake. Just turn. No turn. What else can we uh, demonstrate? I guess that's it. Now to undo our connector here. We'll just simply pull it apart like that. This can stay with a bike. I haven't purchased a padlock yet, but if I had, I would unlock it right now from here. So just use your imagination if you have one. And now we'll just slide her off of there. And I can transport this puppy just wherever I need to go. See there? There's our little... That's all there is to it. Now, these lights will still work without that box on there. The lights will still work. The turn signals will be slow. They were always so slow. They sped up when I added those extra lights, that extra resistance. Let me show you how the lights work now. Left turn. Right turn. break as you can see all the lights work that's always how they worked without that the new lights on there they were always kind of slow when it, when the bike's running it speeds them up a little bit but i like them faster the way they are now with a box on there all this on the bike is just temporarily wired because i'm running out of time i need to get this film edited for you guys i'll go back and clean this up this whole setup right here brackets toolbox lights everything i might have might have 60 bucks in it and the reason i chose this toolbox is because it's actually it's waterproof maybe it's water resistant i'm not sure anyways it's got a seal here it's supposed to be waterproof i believe and that's why i chose it so that my stuff don't get wet on the road time now for a few finishing touches i'm just going to cut it here just use the gray because i don't want to mix up my signals back here confuse somebody on what i'm doing i want to when i indicate something i want people to know what i'm doing where i'm going my channel is all about mechanical things and here in the last six or eight months i've been on a motorcycle moped scooter bender if you guys are enjoying this video so far don't forget to subscribe to my channel share it with all of your friends on all kinds of social media hit the like button leave a comment below let me know what you think of this dilio here when you do all that stuff it helps my channel to grow i would greatly appreciate it i think i'll just stick one right here try and center it up best i can i'm just eyeballing it it'll be all right i guess to put a piece of red tape here in between the two stop lights i don't think that'll confuse anybody all that noise you're hearing is rain outside. It is raining. Maybe just a couple here on the sides. 
wouldn't hurt a thing, I don't think. I have the lights turned off in the garage here, see? Now, I will simulate lights being on on a car at night. So, bam, there you go. Check it out. Look how bright that is. Yes. Everybody will see me. I like to peacock on my motorcycle. The reason why is because I'm not going to be killed by going 100 miles an hour around a corner on my motorbike having a great time and fun. No. I'm going to be killed at an intersection by McDonald's when some idiot on a cell phone doesn't notice me in front of him, rear ends me, plows into me, and just crushes poor little Benny. That's it for this video. It was a fun project. My hopes are somebody sees this video and takes it and runs with it. Does a better, you know, makes a better design, makes something even cooler. That's why I was showing you use a V shape. And it doesn't have to be extreme, but use that V shape on the channel. I too would like to try this again, and I will on another motorcycle, but this one is its going to have to work. This is like, I guess we'll call this a prototype. I don't know. It'll work fine. It's going to be good enough for me to do a little traveling with. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.